hell of a news day for you guys today. We got people getting banned, people leaving their jobs, and for the first time in three years, you may actually get to hear Fredo say, SSH! Let's get it, man! Fredo! If you make it to C25, that's OG status. I was told you could be anything, just don't be average. Down bad, flat pipes, that shit made me upset. Start hustling non-stop, don't plan on breaking that head. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, y'all already know what time it is, man. If you like the video, like the video, subscribe for more daily 2K content, and let's get right into it. Look, man, I'm trying to bring you guys the news in a little bit of different format, man. So we're gonna have the news, we're gonna have the gameplay in the background, all that stuff like this, man. So we just gonna get right into this news, man. Uh three quick news stories for y'all today, man. We got we got uh first and foremost. Uh somebody got banned, man. Look, it's your guy Mar. Uh, Mar, I believe this is Mar that plays with Demon Kev and uh, Mar that plays with, um, you know, Demon Kev, D-Time, all them guys right there, man. He got banned uh, from 2K21 uh, already, and the game ain't even come out yet. And just looking at this thing real quick, it just it just literally says you've been banned for, for violating the terms of service or whatever. We're going to blow it up real quick. This user account's been banned due, due to a violation of terms of service please contact customer service if you feel that uh this was an error like y'all already know what time it is man when stuff like this happens it's tough because this might be like like nobody wants to buy the game on another account nobody wants to use another account you you are known for one account and that's what you use for hopefully it's just a temporary ban but this just goes as a warning to everybody that's out there like yo Normally we get the game early, you can put the game in early, and you can start playing it early and doing stuff. You know, you can tinker around early, like uh, my guy Man Man Grindhard and uh, Annoying, a couple years ago they had the game early uh, before anybody else did. I think this is uh, 2K17, everybody got it early. I think Cash got it early, Man Man got it early. It was a whole thing, uh, um, what, Ja, I think, I wanna say Ja hit him up with my dog, uh, what's my dog name that used to, that used to, uh, that did the, um, the Fredo song? Uh, 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 pride, 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 CL Pride had it early. Everybody had it early, man. And so for the last couple of years, everybody been getting the game early. We already know about the New Zealand cheese and stuff like that. Where they're, where they're, they live in the future, so they get the game a little bit early. But um, then I think 2K in, a, in an effort to combat that, they came back and were like, yeah, we're not going to be letting people do that anymore. What we're going to end up doing is we're going to, we're going to have y'all, uh, you know, we're just going to release the game the same time worldwide. But you can still get the game and you can still play the game and you can still do stuff like that. So the, the long and the short of it is they banned my boy. And like the people in the comments, man, I think the comments is, it, it's just crazy because people in the comments just say how you get banned, how you get banned with like three people playing the game, like other people playing the game and stuff like that. And they said, that's why he, that's why, that's why he playing the game and shouldn't be, uh, you know, they, well, shit, they didn't do that. They didn't do that though. Uh, whatever man anyway you got people in it's, it's it's mixed in the comments man people hating in the comments people are saying that you know it's justified ban all this hopefully it's just a temporary ban but this is just something to let you guys know look if you got the game early i don't know if i would even put it in until until it uh un, un, until it's on but the thing is you can't try to get notoriety when you do stuff like this we know that it's tough to come up in the 2K community. I've been trying for the last five, six years, and it just ain't happened. I've been trying on YouTube for 10 years, and it ain't never really happened. The whole point of what I'm saying is this. We know that it's tough to come up, and we know people gonna try to use any edge that they can. To me, I think I think it's just like some, like some, not everybody that has the game has gotten banned. So I feel like what it probably is, is, you know, they got wind of it and somebody just hated it. Just like how the fans catch you every time. They ain't catching people because they doing good. You think 2K catching people because 2K is doing good police work when when there's a, there's literally, literally a glitch every year that doesn't get thwarted until they put it on YouTube. And even when they put the glitch on YouTube, what happens? It still takes weeks for, so you think 2K banning people because they're doing good police work? Nah, it's because somebody's telling, man. So if you do something like this, man, do it on your own, do it with somebody. Like if I had the game, wouldn't nobody know but Brood and Man Man, because I know they're not going to tell nobody that I got it or whatever. And if they told somebody, they're not going to tell nobody but Nunu and, and Mushu. And, and I don't care if they tell you, you see what I'm saying? So when you do something, you got to be careful because 
just because you want to come up don't mean that everybody want to see you come up. And I feel like that's probably what happened here. Somebody just like, dang, he got the game. And maybe he was streaming the game, but just talking about it or something. And then, you know, they got wind of it and they just hate it and boom. And plus, like we said, they definitely got people that are, that's, that's all they do is look and see if people are playing. I mean, with, with so few people on the servers right now, I think it would be easy to ban somebody, but I just don't even see, since you can't connect to the servers, how would they even know? Me, I feel like it's something that somebody told or whatever like that. But y'all let me know. Y'all think 2, 2K just got him because they was doing good police work out here? Or do you think they just, they just that somebody just hated and told on my boy, man? I, I feel like it's the latter. I think somebody just was hating because they didn't have the game yet and all that. And uh, they just do. But they just go to show you, man. You can't trust everybody, man. Do what you're going to do. Do it in silence. Do it by yourself. Because, hey. And this could be the outcome. Hopefully it's not a hopefully it's just a temporary ban until the game comes out. Maybe they just ban them until the game comes out. Mo at most it should be a 30-day ban. It should not be no permanent ban though. But they always say it's a permanent ban, and you would think it's you, you know you think it's a permanent ban, but it's not a permanent ban. So we're gonna see. Up next, man, we got your boy Scott OG. Uh yeah, you can't really see this whole article right here, but can I let let's I'm, I'm gonna adjust it real quick for y'all, man, so y'all can see it. Cause I want y'all to be able to see. All y'all need to see is the headline right right here. Boom. Scott O'Gallagher leaving NBA uh 2K series for creative director role at uh at EA Sports, joining the ex NBA 2K senior producer Rob Jones. What does this mean? To me, it only means one thing. We may have some competition right now. And as my boy Hard Eight Times always says, competition is good. I say competition is good. It's always good to have competition, man. Look, obviously the people over there at EA don't, they, they, they got an idea of what they're doing, but they really don't have a whole clue. Um, they know what they're doing. The art team is superb. Everything about the game is, is A1 art team. Um, uh, the, the facial people, facial recognition people, the menus, everything, the style team, the, 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 the environment team, everything about the game is A1 until you start, until you, until you do this, until you pick up the sticks and start playing. Everything about the game is A1, and that's what these, I'm hoping that they go over there and convince them to, to look, bro, y'all got everything great. Everything about the game is good, the hoodies, all this stuff look authentic. The players even look good coming out on the court. The player faces are better. They don't have sunken in eyes like with 2K. They don't look like they're just sad, sad hamsters and stuff. Everything looks good, even loading up the court. But when you start playing the game, the motion capture is just not there. And just like we said, she can be pretty, or she can be, she can be a, a, a nice body, nice job, all that. But if she don't look good, I cannot get jiggy to that. And that's where we at with 2K. It, it, I mean, not 2K, but, but live. Everything is great under the hood, but we can't get past the exterior of the, the lack of motion capture and stuff like that. And I feel like that's why a lot of people don't want to play live. That's why I don't want to play it. I don't want to take a shot and my legs are locked and I'm like this right here. And then I finally take the shot. Like, I don't want to play a game like that. I want to play something like that. But like they said, man, Scott OG announced on Twitter, uh, you know, early early this morning that he's leaving the 2K series and headed back to EA Sports. He's updated Twitter. Um, his updated Twitter now shows that he's a creative director. So Mike Wong is the creative director, if I'm not mistaken, or head gameplay designer, or something like that. But the creative director, that means that you're going to get a lot of say, and it may take a couple of years. But, bro, I really, obviously, OG was an associate designer in uh, Live 14. Look, man. Whatever happens, this is what I want to happen. Scott, go over there. Take what you have learned from 2K, all this stuff. Convince them to spend the money and convince them to make a better game. Because if they make a better game, everybody wins. They make a good live. We got live is back on YouTube. So that's the YouTube is going to be winning. Um, people will play live because it's a it's a good game, better game, whatever. And then number three, the consumer wins because we got two basketball games to play and the competition will make, force each other to be better. Please, you got my blessing, go over there, Godspeed, do your thing. But please, please make these guys make a better game. Go, over, I want you to go over there because this is what, obviously what it's going to take. They the, the people that they have, it's obviously not working, right? 
So they got to have something else. We gotta have something else. We gotta have somebody go over there, show them how to make a good game and do all of this stuff right here. And then like we said, man, last but certainly not least, Pretty Boy Fredo was on a live the other day and um, you know, he pretty much had this to say, man. I'm gonna let him, I'm going to let him say it. Let's see if we can find a spot in the video and then uh, we're gonna let him say what he had to say. Friday. <laughs> On Friday, I'm going to go fucking stupid. On Friday, I'm going to give y'all exactly what the fuck y'all want. I swear to God, or everything that I love, because I'm no longer, I'm no longer allowing my fuckers mm. just to say whatever the fuck they want to say about me. Like, for real. I'm not holding my tongue. I'm Friday. holding back because, mm. and let's, I realized, let's, let's skip, bro, let's... I remember I was doing everything the right way, man. I'm happy mm. being a good person. You know mm. what I'm saying? No, no, he don't care about all that. He's going to hate you regardless. You might as well do what the fuck you want to do. That's right. On Friday, I'm going to give you what the fuck y'all want. On Friday, we on Satan time. Hmm. Hmm. We on Satan time on Friday. So Fredo says on, on Friday, camera, he's going to give everybody what they want. And I guess we're talking about the SSH Nation, all them guys. Right? Look, man, what most people from SSH want, quote unquote, want, he says, I'm going to give y'all what y'all want. And Friday, what happens Friday? 2K21 comes out Friday. This might be a reach. Who knows? But 2K21 comes out Friday. He says he's back on Demon Time Friday. If you know the whole Fredo story, you know that Fredo started out as as what, what he would always tell you. Y'all want 40K Fredo that always went in on people and pulled up on people and, and did all the stuff that you know. Anyway, we, we ain't gonna talk about that. Look, we gonna he we want 40k Fredo that said whatever he wanted to, like in 2K16. That's what they saying, man. So if he's saying Friday, I'm back on Demon Time, I'm back to where I was. Is that meaning that he's coming back to 2K? Because like, why, why would he pick Friday in, 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 in particular? Like you can do whatever you want to anytime you want to. Why Friday? It just let, it just makes me wonder, does that mean he's coming back? Or does that mean that he's just, um that you know, that he's just, he's just saying, hey, he just chose a, a day at random. I don't know, but we're gonna find out. But look, man, if you like the video, like the video, subscribe for more daily 2K content and uh, I'm going to holler at y'all next time. I'm going to give y'all 10 seconds to like the video, man, if you made it this far, and put Gemstar down in the comment. Here we go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. All right. Like the video. Subscribe for more daily 2K content. And I'm out of here. Till next time. It's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BK, the People's Champ. God speak. And do y'all think Fredo's coming back? Will we here on Friday? As as age. Let's get it, mate. I gotta be a little bit quieter because my little boy, he's doing the distance learning now, and I try to fit these videos in when he's doing distance learning. But he came back, so I can't, I can't just yell like I wanted to just now. But uh, y'all, let me know what y'all think down in the comments. And I'm hot at y'all next time. God speak. It don't make cash and it don't make sense because we can't pay rent with no one's opinion. So in that sense, I never value your two cents. Hey, darn. Please leave that bullshit you speak at the barn because I ain't buying. I'm only 5'8", that's fine, nigga. I can give a heart transplant to a giant. I ain't lying. God speak. God speak. God speak. We good.